Let's make some blueberry pie bars. So we're gonna make these blueberry pie bars. I have a nine by 13 inch pan and we have preheated our oven to 350 degrees. And we're going to make a crust for the bottom of this, but we need to spray it first. We're gonna set our uh, pan aside, nine by 13. And we have one stick and a half of cold butter. So we're gonna need one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Then we're gonna need a half a cup of sugar. and put in our cold butter and a pinch just a pinch of salt we're just going to go right in and we're going to start squishing up this cold butter it is cold and we could have used a pastry chopper but we're doing good just use your hand make sure your hands are clean Gives your hands a good workout. I decided I wanted something sweet, but something in season, and I thought, you know what, blueberries? I've got some really good blueberries in there, and that's what we're gonna have. I was kind of going through my refrigerator, and I was seeing some of the things I had in there, and I, I wanted the dessert, but I wanted to use up what I had. And I had quite a few blueberries in the refrigerator. And I said, you know what? I'm going to make some blueberry bars. Takes a few minutes. It will be crumbly. That's what we want. There are some days I just feel like baking and cooking and being in my kitchen. And then there are some days... I run past it. I don't want to cook. I don't want to uh, even wash a dish. But that's not, that's kind of rare. We live so far from the city that really this eating out, it just costs so much. And it's so time consuming just to go get something. So just rather eat at home. Plus like one piece of dessert, you know, like one slice of cake or brownie is seven, eight dollars. And I could make a whole big, a whole big batch for a lot less money. All right, so I think we have that and we are just going to take our pan and we're just gonna just put it in. Just like that. And we are going to just mash it out. Make sure you get it off your fingers as much as you can. Okay, and I'm going to take it and just take my measuring cup and just kind of press it down a little bit. This is a very quick dessert. That's it for that. We're gonna set this in the refrigerator so it'll stay cold. Okay, now we are going to make our filling. First, we need two eggs. Okay, we need one half cup of sour cream. Now we need just a pinch of salt, just a pinch. One cup of sugar. Mm. 
So now we need one third cup of all purpose flour. Okay, and we're just gonna stir it in. You know what guys, I need about a third of a cup of my batter. So I'm gonna take just a third out because we're gonna sprinkle it over the top. Can't believe I forgot that. So we're just gonna take some out. We're gonna take our, we're gonna fix it. Can't believe I did that, but it's better to fix it now. And so I'm just gonna kinda mess it up. <laughs> Let me set this aside. I'm just gonna kind of mess it up a little bit and beat it down so it's kind of even. You know, when you're in the kitchen, mistakes happen. And you can either correct them or just go with the flow. If I hadn't have corrected it, we'd have just threw some more blueberries on top. It wouldn't have been a big issue. Now we're gonna put this into a 350 degree oven for about 10 to 12 minutes. Now we're just gonna keep whisk, we're gonna whisk this. So now we are going to add our three cups of blueberries. These are fresh blueberries. I had them in there and I needed to use them. So now I'm gonna get a spatula and kind of fold them in. We're going to set these aside. I'm going to straighten this up and then we're going to wait for that crust and we're going to pour it all together. Now we're going to get our crust out of the oven. It is ready and then we're going to pour this filling over the top of it. This is what it looks like. This is for our bars. This is going to be, oh, <laughs> looks so good. It's going to uh, cook a little more. We're going to start spooning this over the top just like this. to be taking our crumble that we we're going to take the mixture that we use for the bottom and put it on top like a little crumble what it looks like. We're going to put it in the oven for one hour. So while that cooks up, I'm going to get my dishes all washed. I'm going to take my mom some. My mom's been very sick and my dad almost cut his finger off. So today he's at the hospital. My mom is very sick and so he almost, my dad almost cut his finger off. So I'm going to make sure I take him some blueberry uh, pie bars and maybe that'll cheer him up. So, I don't know. It might make the pain go away. I don't know. Them blueberry bars are coming out of the oven. <laughs> I'm speechless. This is our blueberry pie bars and <laughs> they look really good. They really need to cool. Cooked for one hour. Now they're going to set up for one hour and get really good and cool. So when we slice them, they'll still be warm, but they will um, be all put together like a little like a little cookie bar. Thank you guys for watching. Make you these blueberry bars. I know they're gonna be really good. I've had them before and they are delicious. And this pan is really hot. Subscribe, hit the like button, comment below. Thank you so much for watching. You guys have a wonderful day.